kind of the way Flip Gordon is, and he has a lot of respect for the company, has a lot of respect for wrestling, so I think he's an automatic fit. Interesting things boiling there. So we see Code of Honor, PJ Black, and Bandito. We see Bandito and Caristico, two men that have drawn comparisons to one another. Yeah. But I think Bandito's the first Bandito. I think he's breaking the mold, much like Caristico did. He's breaking the mold. Not only that, but he had, like, a golden ticket to go anywhere he wanted to go. He had people under him that could push him to any scene he wanted to be, be and he made his own name for himself. So I have a lot of respect for him as well. Yeah, trained by the great Ultimo Guerrero, was in the CMLL Dojo system, broke free, decided to do it on his own, and doing it here now in Ring of Honor after and he's meteoric doing it, rise. Doing it, doing it well. <laughs> well, it was he, PJ Black, breaking the quadruple knuckle lock there. There's Caristico in there with PJ Black. Well, I was going to say, if there's anybody in the ring that would be the aggressor, it would have to be PJ Black. Caristico wasting no time, back handspring elbow. And sending Gordon out. And any two of these combina combinations between any two of these men would be a dream match, Caprice. Absolutely. We're going to see four in the same bout. I want to see you try to call this play-by-play, uh -oh. Ian. <laughs> High cross body. <laughs> and these two have a little bit of a history, Caristico and PJ Black. My god. Ooh, nice flying head scissor. Face one another before. A normal flying head scissor, you would grab the guy as you're coming up under him. He was already on top when he grabbed him. That's an extra height, of course, strength that you need. Look at this, the crowd audibly gasping with the, the sight of what we're seeing. A, a, a near legend, perhaps a Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer at Caristico. And a guy that might be starting a Hall of Fame career in Bandito. Just got to believe he is. Ooh, thrust kick to the midsection. And now spins around, nice drop down from Caristico. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, Bandito, handspring, and it's... Wow. Caristico. Off the ropes. Oh, flying head scissor. Oh, takes down Caristico. Off the ropes. And Flip Gordon, just by the sight. But did you see the way Bandito was able to stop on a dime? Sure did. That's great muscle control. PJ Black with an opportunity. He's going to seize it. And you know what? That was a little sneaky, Caprice. Yeah, that's what I say. He's going to be the aggressor in this one. And, and I mean, just because he does stuff sneaky doesn't mean he's a bad guy. He's a veteran in there. He's going to be able to take advantage of these young guys that are trying to make a name for themselves. He's been here before. He knows what to do in these situations. The building where PJ Black made his Ring of Honor debut. Or Flip Gordon now rolling through. Flip looks great. Sure does. Connects with a kick. Staggering PJ Black. Springboard drop kick. Wow. Black to the outside. Gordon, the last man standing. We might see how well that knee's doing here, Caprice. Off the row. Oh. Well, if you oh. could stop on a dime that way, he's doing pretty good. And we were supposed to see this match. In Dallas, Texas, this was supposed to be the main event. This was a dream match. The fans were buzzing. Flip Gordon got hurt, though, in Concord. They look like a tag team in there, though, with the outfits. Oh, but Caristico oh. is not going to let the handshake happen. Yeah. Oh. One thing I will say, Caristico, is the, he would be the wild card in here because everybody else is kind of familiar with one another because of Ring of Honor and the style of the travel schedule. But Caristico is kind of on his own. Well, Caristico, airplane style, head scissors takeover from Flip Gordon. And it's easy to get sidetracked with someone you know, so somebody like Caristico can come in and steal the win. It's a great point. What a win it would be. It would put him in title contention. I got to think whoever wins this bout immediately shoots to the top Absolutely. of the title ranks. And we talked about Roosh maybe wanting a title shot, deserving a title shot. I think. Maybe if, I mean, this is the dream match we're seeing in front of us here. If Bandito would pin Flip, if Flip would pin Bandito. I could see Flip with the television title. I could see Flip with the world title. Same, Same thing with Bandito. Ducks the clothesline, Bandito taking out P.J. Black. And on the other side, it's Flip Gordon on Caristico. And if we're going to do it, we're going to yeah. do it right. Because both men taking the other out and going face to face in the ring. And this is a dream oh, match if God. I've ever seen one. This is a standoff if I've ever seen one. Both of them springboard into the middle of the ring. Oh. And now it's changing open hands. Spin kick caught Bandito. Nice back flips. Sweeps the leg, misses. It's Gordon who gets out of the way of the clothesline. Thrust that was kick. Inside step sweep. And Gordon had it spotted. Rolls Bandito through, pops up. Mirror images of one another with a drop kick popping up. 
Rig of body, I'm loving this. Columbus stalemate. Outstretched hand of Bandito. Oh, look at that! Bandito catching Gordon off guard. Not something we usually see from the Lifeblood member. Up and over. And into the corner, P.J. Black is there, but instead, Kinder surprise on Black. It's almost like Gordon and, and Bandito want to clear the ring so they can face one another. Folds him up. He blocked it. Bandito blocked it. Sure did. That strength oh on display. My God. Sometimes I forget how strong Bandito is until he displays his strength. When he picked up Beer City Bruiser. Absolutely. He, he picked just, up Shane Taylor. He, he has an, an unmeasurable amount of strength because you look at his size and you think, okay, he could do this, he could do that, but he just continues to impress you. And this is a dream match right here. Every match in there is a dream match, Riccoboni. This is a dream. I'm watching a dream, yeah. and I don't want to wake up. Caristico, Bandito, exchanging open hands in the middle of the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I kind of like them working together because when you're getting there striking against one another, it's easy to make yourself a target because you forget about the other two people in the ring. Yeah, you expose your back to the other and two. And they're men. also exposing their back to the man in black. Looking for a superplex here. But like you said, we what see three doing? men. The fourth is on his way. The veteran instinct, he capitalized. Cover. Two. Oh. He capitalized on what he, there he Two. Got. He found an opening. Absolutely, and the opening was all them trying to do something to one guy, and they forgot about him. Well, no one's going to forget about him now as he places Flip Gordon up on that top oh. turnbuckle. You can't forget about Dre. No, you can't forget about PJ. Oh. Now PJ's trapped. EJ is trapped as Bandito and Gordon, who seem like magnets to one another. Stuck in the tree of woe, Bandito and Gordon exchanging rights on top. Bandito with the advantage here. I've seen him do this before. Oh, my goodness. Did you see him at Madison Square Garden? He had two guys. Well, if he could do it to two, he could do it to Gordon. And Black. Look at Black. That's what happens when you focus. And this is what happens when you're Caristico and you take your time and let the moment come to you. Big drop kick on PJ Black. Carisco checking direction. He saw that the two guys already laid out was hurt. And so he took the guy that was not laid out yet. Now it's PJ Black. That was beautiful. You saw the wheels in the mind of Caristico moving. As we take a look here, capacity crowd sold out. We thank everybody for joining us live here for Honor Club. There is not an empty seat in the building here at Express Live. Back to his feet, first of the four individuals is Bandito Caristico. Back to his feet, Bandito. What a win it would be to pin a, a future legend like Caristico, a man who's making his Hall of Fame case month after month as Bandito connects. If anybody can do it in that ring, it would be Bandito. And Caristico climbing oh up. Oh my God! C4! And C flip! 450! PJ Black Springboard 450! It's gonna be a one, two, and three! No, just a two count! Rick Abani, I bought the ticket. That was that's twice that PJ Black has had the perfect opportunity. PJ Black with the advantage, stacking them too deep. Springboard boots off! That's gotta do it. Come on! Two! And whoa! Did, did both men covered? P.J. Black well, now. I think he's going to the well too many times now. Looking for oh, oh. the double stop. Catches Bandito. One, two, three. Ooh. P.J. Black, he knows when to capitalize. This is what he's supposed to do. He needs to stay focused and continue to do it. He's a man in control, and he knows how many people's in the ring. Look at he, Black. He's doing exactly what he needs to do. Oh, my goodness. Gory Special perhaps has him. finished. Look at him. What in the world? Look at the strength of P.J. Black. Oh, oh collapsing. He was going for a double for submission is what he was going for. One, two, 
Ooh, just folding up Bandito. That was turned out to be a Ooh. great offensive oh, maneuver. Say, that's what would have happened with that double submission, though. Flip Gordon would have came in there and broke it up. Ducks the clothesline. Flip Gordon. Up around, and Gordon satellite caught. Oh, he blocked it. Or did he? Oh, yes, he did. PJ Black. Great display of strength. And this is the best we've ever seen PJ Black. Cover one, two, and and Black's got to be thinking after that loss to Bandito. He needs a moment. He needs a win. And it was in this building he made his Ring of Honor debut yeah. and defeated Luchasaurus. So he's got an intimate. If there's any place, it's Columbus Caprice. Well, you know what? He's, he has the perfect game plan. He's playing the perfect game. So, but it's in his body. Wow. You know what I like about P.J. Black is that he's not always the high flyer. He knows what to do and when to do it because he's so well versed in this thing. He doesn't have to make the risk, but when he does, you remember how impressive he is. And look at that. Up impressive. Wow. It's very close to the concrete wall. Oh, that concrete wall's are only a good six feet away, if that. And unforgiven. Karistico, the last man standing. What will he do here? And Climbing the rocks. High cross body. Oh, beautiful. Oh, and he's the first man back in the ring. But he needs to have somebody in the ring to beat him. In the words of the great Ohio band photo maker, can I please have some more? That's what Caristico wants to do here in Columbus. Dalen Hager is loving this match. Yeah, this match rules. <laughs> Chip? Sir does. What is he doing? He's scaling the wall. Like, literally, he's scaling the wall. Yes. It's like Spider-Man. What in the world? That's why you need front row seats to ring of honor. You what? never know when you're going to become part of the action. And it's not like MLB. You can't take home a souvenir if they can. PJ Black. Oh. They're, they're all in the crowd. Bandito. Oh, my goodness. Caught. And security has cleared the seats. Hold on a second. Look at Flip. His, his wheels are spinning. Flip Gordon. There's no way he can make it that far, though. That's the only thing he can be thinking about, no though. He tried, it. he tried this before. Are you kidding me? And he got it. He got it this time. If you were wondering about the knee. The knee is good. Flip Gordon. He has a little time left before everybody's back in the ring. He needs to stop looking at the referee and try to capitalize and get this win. Maybe hit that 450 again. Maybe hit the Kinder Surprise. Close to the finish line. You got to think Flip Gordon is almost there. As Caristico comes charging him with a clothesline. And now back to the center of the ring. That's the clothesline. It's Caristico with a big super kick. Staggering Gordon. Gordon falls on spaghetti legs. PJ Black now in the ring. Caristico off the ropes. Pop. Oh, my God. This match is incredible. Mexican destroyer in stride to Gordon there to break it up. Caristico now has Gordon right where he wants him. Looking for a power bomb. He gets it on top of Black. Very smart move. Cover. One, two, and the double count there by Paul Turner. Yep. The double count in case somebody kicked out, he would know which one was pinned. That That's was a perfect guy. To, you know, sometimes we forget about how much of a veteran Caristico is as well. Oh. And Bandito fighting like a 10-year veteran here, like a 15-year veteran, as he goes to the top. Bandito is scary good. Here we go. Oh! So if he can slam. capitalize on that, he's, it's over. He needs to capitalize now. He needs to finish Center this. of the ring, two, three. Oh, oh that would have been three. Absolutely. That would have been three hadn't Black and Gordon been there. I believe he's finished Caristico for the night, though. Spray oh. for spare. Gordon. What a feather in a cap it would be for him. I think it's down to these three in the ring. See Gordon holding on but for a dear life. Look at the position that he's in. I've seen this position before. Oh, oh, yes, we have. Yes, we have. 